known the Zelensky family for many years. Dennis and his brother carpooled with us, uh, going to the Red Bank Y for community swim meets. Dennis was the all-American kid. He was the kid you could count on. Uh, the kids would goof off. You'd always trust Dennis to do the right thing, say the right thing. He had fun, but he knew right and wrong. And he went off to West Point and he became a terrific young man. And he Dennis and Marion wanted to honor him and his name by doing this, and the first uh, toast to Dennis. We feel honored, and uh, and we it was a world that we were not really familiar with, and after our son became a Marine and deployed, and the life that military families lead uh, needs so much support and encouragement that it made us even more enthused to be part of the Zelensky Memorial Fund. Marion is an incredibly strong person, and I think that really uh, hit home for us when uh, our son came home from his first deployment, and uh, as he, uh, as the Marines entered the base, we saw the families of the boys who did not come back were the first ones there to meet the bus. And when I saw those families, it occurred to me that it's amazing what Marion has done, that she has stayed so involved in military causes and takes a tremendous amount of, uh, of dedication, and it truly is a, a miraculous thing that she's done to, to uh, commemorate her son Dennis. You gotta love these guys, it works. I had always had like a connection with service dogs because um, my best friend is a dog that was rescued from a shelter. And um, when I found out that the service dogs helped the veterans with PTSD, um, I immediately contacted them and said, like, how can I get started? What can I do? I kind of ambushed her at the swim team banquet for CBA, but <laughs> she, she's really nice. So she was okay about it. The old priest at my church used to say that um, when you lose your parents, you're an orphan, and when you lose your husband or wife, you're a widow or a widower, but there's no word to express the pain of losing a child because it's too great for words and I guess it expresses it in a way because they just took what they lost and instead of just sitting back and being angry at the world they took it and they said this is something that needs to change this is something that we've experienced because we have a long line of people in the military and this is something that needs to be done and everything that they've done is just amazing When I uh, took command up here in New Jersey, I brought my, uh, my sons uh, with me. Uh, my older son was uh, going into his senior year of high school and he went to CBA. We were at the end of season swim banquet at CBA and the Zelenskys presented their annual scholarship. Next thing you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm running with Dennis and, uh, and golfing with Dennis. When I was at the Toast to Dennis recently, I, I was, you know, pointing out the fact that, you know, we've got so many people that are affected by this. You know, the, the soldiers, sailors, Marines, airmen, Coast Guardsmen themselves, their families. Um, and we're talking about hundreds of thousands of people. You know, the VA system, they're just overwhelmed. They can't handle the scope of uh, what they've got in front of them to deal with. And organizations like uh, the Dennis Zelinsky Foundation, they fill important gaps. They aren't supporting thousands of, of troops, you know, but many hands make for little work and all of these foundations make a big difference. When we're deployed as handlers and uh, dog teams, we're typically the only handlers with a platoon we spend 24 hours a day with our dogs, and you know, a lot of the time, we're not supplied everything that we need. And Marion and Dennis, they send us stuff that we need, whether it's leashes, collars, choke chains, toys, uh, food for us, snacks for the dogs. I mean, you know, a lot of times it could come down to life or death, whether you have the right, right equipment or not. So knowing that there are organizations that will help us out when we need it, it's a great feeling. It just gives you that comfort. I met them about four or five years ago when I was stationed at Naval Weapons Station Earl. Um, I went out and helped Mary and they went to an elementary school, kind of just talked about the Military Working Dog Program, and I learned about her organization, what they do, not only through the Dennis Alinsky Foundation, but also the Sergeant Denny Project, where they send care packages around the world to, you know, handlers and their dogs that are deployed. The amount of people that come out and support them and all their fundraising and everything, just how well it's grown and how many people actually are willing to help out and donate their time, money, resources, and everything like that. 
I think everybody has their theory or belief on what Dennis would have gone on to do or, or what he would have been in this world. And uh, me personally, having lived with him, having served with him, you know, you look at the things that Dennis loved. He loved his family, he loved swimming, he loved his country. And so within those three areas, he would have, he would have succeeded and, uh, and been almost as big as his legacy is today without him. He was one of the most humble people. He would never take credit for a thing that, that happened. He always gave credit where credit was due. And so what he would say about this today is that it, it's too much. He wouldn't, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't want us making a big deal about him, but what he would love is the fact that this organization, although it's in his memory, is about the veterans. It's about supporting uh, the active duty, the National Guard and the reserves. And so that's where I think the Zelensky family has really scoped this uh, organization into truly honoring Dennis because it has his name, but at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's not to benefit Dennis or to benefit the Zelensky family, it's to benefit everybody else and give that credit. And, uh, and that's very fitting to, to Dennis's personality.